In this video, we are uh, we will be studying about this Spearman's rank correlation. So Spearman's rank correlation was calculated when you had to find out the correlation between the qualitative variable, which means let's say the aptitude of boy A and the aptitude of boy B. You want to find out the correlation. What is the correlation between the aptitude? So these are the qualitative variables. So in this case, you will use the Spearman's rank correlation. So rank uh, coefficient of rank correlation is denoted by R k, which is equal to one minus six summation d square divided by n q minus n. This is the formula to be used when there are no equal ranks given. All the ranks which are assigned are different. So D here is your rank differences. N is the number of observations. Now in some questions you will be given the ranks only. Uh, the question contains only the ranks. In that case, you just have to find out the difference and you have to count the number of observations and put it in the formula. In some questions, you won't be given ranks. So you have to assign the ranks. So let's take up that question in which you have to assign the ranks. Now this is the question. In a poetry recitation competition, 10 participants were accorded following marks by the two different judges X and why? So calculate the coefficient of rank correlation between the marks given by the judges. Now we are given the X judge marks which they gave to the 10 participants and the Y judge who gave the marks to the 10 participants. Now we have to assign the rank to X judge and the rank to Y judge. Now we can do it either in the ascending order or in the descending order. So I am giving first rank to the lowest marks so one two then three then four then five six six seven eight nine and ten I have given the ranks. In the same way, I will give the same ranking to the Y. You will start from the ascending order, that is to the smallest number, you will give the rank as 1. Then, you will give 2 rank to 3. Then, 3rd rank. Then, 4th rank. Then, 5th rank. Then, 6th rank. 7th rank, 8th rank, 9th rank and 10th rank. Now next step what you will do, you will find out the difference between rank 1 and rank 2. Rank of X series and rank of Y series. So 7 minus 10 is minus 3, 9 minus 9 is 0, 6 minus 3 is 3, 5 minus 5 is 0, 3 minus 6 is minus 3, 4 minus 7 is minus 3, 8 minus 2 is 6, 10 minus 8 is 2, 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 minus 4 is minus 3. Now you will find out the square of these differences that is 9, 0, 9, 0, 9, 9, 36, 4, 1 and 9. So this sum of d square you will get is as 86. Now the formula to find out the rank correlation was 1 minus summation 6 into d square divided by n q minus n. So 1 minus 6 into summation d uh, square is 86. And how many participants are there? 10. So 10 cube minus 10. 1 minus 
फाइव वन सिक्स डिवाइड बाई वन टू थ्री इज द क्यूब माइनस टेन सो गेट दी आंसर वन माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फाइव टू विच इज जीरो पॉइंट फोर so there is a positive rank correlation of a moderate degree that is of 0.48 it lies between 0.25 to 0.75 and it is positively correlated so it is a moderate range so it is a moderate positive rank correlation between the marks are given by judge x and judge y so i hope you have understood when there are no equal ranks you have not assigned the same rank to the individual series the ranks are given differently 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 right this way i hope you like the video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us